Hello, I'm Tenzin Stewart, and today we're going to be talking about abstinence and what you can do to keep your pants away from the oak tree. Yeah, abstinence is pretty cool actually. I'm the best. <laughs> a master of teaching abstinence, maybe, but not necessarily a master of abstinence. Actually, kids teach themselves about abstinence. They do a project, and hopefully they learn by the things that we do in class that that's a good choice, yeah. especially now when they're in high school. Every kid I've ever have had has practiced abstinence while in my classroom. Yes, to a point, at some point in your life, not being abstinent, abstinent might be cooler, but at this point in high school careers, it's cool. Birth control, condoms, and other kinds of birth control. Always two. One for protection, one for protecting your wallet, one for pregnancy. Abstinence? I'm a math teacher. Not practicing abstinence can be a little risky. And if you're not a little shy like I am, it's beneficial to know the risks. I'm chlamydia. Chlamydia, I mean, I am a common sexually transmitted infection that might not cause symptoms. Can you die from chlamydia? Does anyone know? Be outside the womb. It can cause a woman to have permanent damage to her reproductive system. And I'm, I'm the worst for women. I give them a bad time. In birth, I, I mess things up. Chlamydia is not a flower. Hey, I'm, I'm, the, I'm the drip, I'm clap, Cl I'm the clap. Gonorrhea, you, you, won't like, you won't like me in your pants. I'm, I'm gonna do some bad, some, some disgusting things. It's not gonna be fun when you you feel me feel me hurting your your parts. It's it's not gonna be good, and you're gonna probably die. No, but it won't be fun. It's, you won't. It's gonna have 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 a discharge, and it stinks real real bad. And uh, I don't know. I, you're gonna hate me. It's it's gonna be it's not gonna be fun. I even hate myself, you know? It's, it's a hard existence. I'm HPV, or genital warts. I, I, I can be found on your junior, your Vanessa, even your Becky. I will get in there and it's gonna be really difficult and painful. I'm. I'm not. I'm not a very good time.
you know what time it is. Oh, what? You don't know what time it is? Well, I'll tell you what time it is. It's song time. This is a little something I whipped up that you can sing along with your friends. Hey squirrel, get out of my pants. I'm practicing abstinence. Abstinence. What? You haven't committed it to memory yet. That's kind of lame. Abstinence. So basically, it is not having sexual contact that can give you STDs. So you might think, what sexual contact can't give you STDs? Well, ear sex. See, I've been practicing. Uh, I've been practicing abstinence for about 16 years, and I'm only 15. There's uh, been no known STD that has affected the ears. So, as long as you stay away from the mouth if they have like herpes or something, you're fine. See, my brother caught an STD when he was seven. Um, it was it was really sad because he got gonorrhea. <laughs> oh, very, yeah. Because abstinence, it's like, it's just, it just flows. It's like non-material culture. It just you can you can smell it, you can sniff it, you can drink it. You can you can just sense it in the air. Everyone just high fives each other, and you know if someone has sex, psh, never talk to them again. Hate that. Um. Ever since I joined the pack of abstinence, uh, we really just we bonded. We bonded over the ear sex. <laughs> I just bought a tennis court for my roof the other day. I have 16 TVs and 42 bedrooms. It's just great, dude. I have a horse. His name is Abstinence. Um, not unless you can have children via ear sex. I probably want to have kids. Um, but I mean, I might adopt some, like, 13 year old kids that are already in families just might adopt them just cuz you know and then sell them to the, their family back after 10 days isn't that just ransom? no it's not ransom uh, Bob Ross was said that you can't be a happy little tree unless you practice abstinence I just if he said that don't trust me trust the legend himself Love you all, goodbye. What happens to non abstainers? Two people meet. Bada bing, bada boo. They do the doubles dance. Sham. One of them dies, the other has a child. That child will go on to burn the house down. Death. Don't practice abstinence and prepare to die.
nothing. Are you are you filming me right now? Nah. I'm not happy. First time I was 15. It's in a warehouse at my uncle's place. I actually got tetanus that year. Cut my butt on the rust. It's horrible, horrible experience. She was crying. I was awkward at that. I didn't know what to do. Nine months later, that's what happens. Insects. That's what they are. They're a disease. And they're, they're everywhere, man. They're everywhere. It's really sad. I come home from work and there they are. Justin and Susie. They're just, they're always there. They're clinging on. Daddy, Daddy, you wanna go play? Daddy, take us to the movies. And sometimes I just wanna rip my arm off so I have something to throw at him. Hey, some people are like, this bottle, extra virgin olive oil. And that's pretty cool. But some people aren't like extra virgin olive oil. And that's cool too. You know why? Because not being extra virgin olive oil doesn't depreciate your value in any way, shape, or form. That's because anyone can practice abstinence. No, I am practicing abstinence. Do you want to partake in intercourse? The Devil's Dance, the Act of Darkness, the Caribbean Cantaloupe, aggressive cuddling? No thanks. How about abstinence? Sure! Abstinence? I'm a math teacher! I am Billy Bills and I approve that message. What do you think about abstinence? Abstinence is very good for your colon and most like spinach and a lot of fiber that you need. There we go. Where'd he go? I don't get paid enough for this, dude. You don't. I can't get out of this. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I'm gonna have to go like all the way around. We're here to talk about some of your most pressing issues. Doesn't be. Doesn't a being a virgin and practicing abstinence mean the same thing? Why do we think guys 
No. No. You know why? Why? Listen. Why don't... Versions are stupid. That's not the message we <laughs> want to send. Virgins are good. Virgins? Yeah. Abstinence. You can practice on the go. You can practice it in the car. At school. In fact, I'd hope you always practice it at school. Because abstinence is simply the act of not doing it. The bathroom is a dirty place. <laughs> Sorry, genitals. Okay, let's do a thing where we say thank you, Miss Robinson, for a great semester. Thanks, Miss Robinson, for a great semester. We gotta say it in unison. Three, two, thank one. you, Miss Robinson. Thank you, Miss Robinson, semester. for a great S semester. S semester. Three, two, one. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> I messed up. Three, two. Thank you, Miss Robinson. Thank you, Miss Robinson, for, a, thank you, Ms. Robinson, you so for a great semester. Great semester. You're not good at this. Maybe I should do everything that Miss Robinson has yelled at me for, like play with a stapler, and, uh, <laughs> use my phone, and okay. say that much. I don't. What? I think that's it. Actually, pretty much yeah. just the stapler. She yeah. got really mad about the stapler. Thank, Thank you, Miss Robinson. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, Miss Robinson. Go team. <laughs> so bad. I'm not using that.